Tonight, after a tough day of legal proceedings for the police department, what's next for the city of East Cleveland? Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Mike O'Malley announced today 11 more East Cleveland police officers were indicted, causing new concerns about how the city will protect itself. Lydia Espar reports. Here's newly released video from the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office. Officers kicking a suspect. In this video, the same thing. A pattern of unlawful conduct. Two officers talking about the beatings on tape. Nice little all from police body cam, all from the East Cleveland Police Department, and all these videos leading to multiple indictments. I think to any casual observer, those videos are appalling and a poor reflection of policing within our community. As of today, there are 16 current or former East Cleveland police officers who have been indicted in the last six and a half months. Including an Elyria police officer who worked in East Cleveland. He has since been fired from that force just two hours after the indictments were issued. And here are the charges on the indictment. Felonious assault, interference with civil rights, tampering with evidence, obstructing justice, theft in office. Hello. With city council and the mayor constantly bickering, says council president Juanita Gowdy, she says the city is ready for help. Change is needed for our city, for the sheriff department to come out and exert and help out with the city after, after all these police officers got indicted. 16 indicted for this behavior and roughly 20 officers are left for the entire city of East Cleveland. Now, some of the cases the prosecutor's office is investigating go all the way back to June of 2018. There'll be more charges and video to come. And the prosecutor says there are still good police officers in East Cleveland. They just kind of have to sort out the bad apples. You talked about the various bickering going on between the agencies there as you look at this. Say, what is next for the city? You know, that's a good question, because what is next is they should stop the bickering. They go back and forth blaming each other, so nothing gets done. East Cleveland deserves very good leadership, and they don't appear to be getting that right now when the city is in a major crisis. Okay. Lydia Spar, thank you very much. Sure.